So today's the last day. I actually did it. And I pre-ordered my Z Fold 5. I have a little bit more time left, but I went ahead and did it because I knew I needed to get it mainly for this channel. And I had a lot of comments down in my last couple videos saying, hey, no, you don't really need to get it and it's not gonna be better than the S23 Ultra. And yes, I have the S23 Ultra and it's not going anywhere. I have it for the duration. Um, my time to go ahead and send it back has ended. So I'm going to be comparing this phone to the Z Fold 5. And I wanted to get the Z Flip, but I think the Fold is more of something that is a better comparison to this considering it's got somewhat of the same use case considering they both have an S Pen. And that's the thing I wanted to compare, right? Is that S Pen functionality. I don't mind writing on a note. A note is fine. I like it. It's no problem at all. I can do it. But being able to write something for an extended period of time maybe not so much and it can get a little cramped using that tiny little pin so i went ahead and went to amazon and got an official samsung uh, z fold 4 pin because it's the bigger one and i'm looking for a case right now that is compatible with that and there's only a few of them there's like a knockoff brand which seems pretty good and then there's eye blazons and that thing is thick i don't want to buy a big thick case uh, so I don't think that's the one I'm going to go with. Um, but I also have something else here that I'm going to be unboxing here pretty soon. Yep, it's the classic. Uh, so I also got the regular version of the Galaxy Watch 6 and not the 6 Classic. Um, so that's the classic, the 6 Classic, and I've got the regular version coming in also uh, that I ordered. And I went ahead and got the some purple uh, Galaxy uh, Buds Pro 2. Uh, just to see what those were about because those were $49 with my purchase of the phone. So I got the gray one. It's coming in pretty soon. And um, I have a feeling that I'm, I'm agreeing with a lot of the comments. I think that I'm going to like the Z, I'm sorry, the, the S23 Ultra as far as a phone goes more for phone use. But I think that the Z Fold will be for like kind of show, maybe, possibly. And that's not really what I want to do with it. I want something that is gonna be a little bit more functional. So if it's not that, then I will be sending it back. Um, I'm not gonna keep something that um, is, is not going to be productive for me. And also, um, I'm going to do my best to find good, positive things, but I'm gonna, so, I, I'm a little bit negative when it comes to uh, technology uh, not performing uh, correctly or to my standards, right? So I'm going to be giving um, a honest point of view. And yeah, it, it might be negative sometimes, but it's hopefully gonna be positive because I wanna find good ways to use this uh, phone. And I'm hoping the battery life is at least maybe 80% as good as the S23 Ultra, so that way I don't have to charge it all the time. And I think the charging on it is going to be fairly fast, and that's something I'm gonna be looking at too. Hopefully the pictures are good on it, but I don't plan on taking a lot of pictures. The main reason I wanna get the Z Fold 5 is for productivity, that's it. So I wanna be, be productive with this thing. Um, I like the fact that I won't have to have a kickstand for it. Um, I can just, you know, fold it up and watch a video or play something for my kids, just set it down on the table and let them watch that. I'm curious about how people are actually being able to text with this thing. Um, they're, they're putting it out, they're folding it out and texting with it, on, you know, just on the, the screen. Um, that's kind of like Star Trek kind of stuff to me. And I think that, uh, you know, Fossey Carter had said, it, it, I didn't go watch this video yet, but one of the comments that I got said, uh, Flossie said that, you know, it doesn't take as good of pictures. It um, doesn't operate as a phone altogether as well as the S23 Ultra. So this thing right here. Um, so I'm not looking for it to be doing that. I don't think it would, I didn't think it would be as good of a candy bar style phone. And it's okay for me that you can't write on the outside screen 
on the Z Fold 5 with the S Pen. I, it, honestly, that's that's fine with me. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it would be nice if that did operate like that, you know, so you can just take it and just write a quick note or something like that. You wouldn't have to open up the phone. But I'm not really planning on doing quick notes really with that one. If I was to do anything, it's going to be, you know, writing down like a journal t uh, style thing, you know. So hopefully that's what it works for. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm I'm assuming if I do keep this thing, I will keep it to be able to trade in, trade up to the next one. Um, and the the financing process wasn't too bad. It was pretty straightforward. And Samsung's got their stuff together. Uh, it, they sent emails right away, you know, saying, okay, cool, you're signed up, all this stuff. I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket. So if you guys are wondering if you're gonna have to pay anything out of pocket, you're not gonna have to. It's like, it just goes straight through. But the one thing I forgot to add to the cart, like I I went and added, I had deleted my cart probably about 20 times before I finally, maybe more, before I finally made the purchase. Uh, but I forgot to get the slim case that has the S Pen in it. And I think it's probably a good thing because the S Pen that comes with the Z Fold 5 is kind of the thinner one. It's not much bigger than the S Pen that comes in the S23 Ultra. And so to me, that's not really something that I would want. I, I want something more substantial, almost like an Apple Pencil, um, maybe something that you could use on the tablet, which is what they had for the Z Fold 5, oh, see, Z Fold 4. So that's really what I want. And so that's, I think it's probably a good thing that I ended up not getting that case because of that, that fact. Um, so I've been looking at Amazon and I can't really find anything there, um, that I really truly want to get there. Um, but, um, all in all, um, if you guys are uh, looking uh, to get a, um, a S23 Ultra or the Z Flip 5 or the Z Fold 5, I'll leave a link down the in the description and it'll give you, I believe, 5% off. Uh, when you use that uh, for your purchase. And um, it, I don't know, it gives me some sort of points or something. I can't remember exactly what it would do. So it does benefit me somehow if you use that link. So if, I, if I'm helping you at all with any of this information and you feel like you wanna use that link down below, it'll take you to the Samsung website and I believe it'll give you 5% off. And if it doesn't, let me know, but I believe it will. So that'd be good for you. Also, any cases that I find that are going to be decent, um, I'll also leave those in the description also. And guys, can you recommend to me any cases, um, like an S Pen that you liked that you found worked on the Z Fold 4 that will work on the Z Fold 5? Screen protectors, I, want, I need to know those as well because I want to get something good for the outside screen and for the inside. Um, and so far, you guys have been super like helpful and supportive in, in making a decision on this. And um, I appreciate you. And it's because of you that I did make this uh, purchase. Of course, I'm going to benefit from it because I want to use it for my personal use. But you guys helped me uh, decide that this is the way to go, right? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make another video um, unboxing the, uh, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. And I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, my name is Mike. This is something mobile. My goal on this channel is to help you find the right phone, case, and face to fit your life and style. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.